Hello everybody, my name is Krele and welcome to To The Moon. Now this is a RPG game that came out in 2011, I believe, and I've been meaning to play it for quite some time, so let's get into it. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. This is a game I've been meaning to jump into. The music sounds great. Now I know a couple of YouTubers have done uh, playthroughs of this. Uh oh, somebody just crashed. That didn't sound good. They've done a few uh, playthroughs of this game quite some time ago, so I've tried to limit as much as I could what I've watched because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading the squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Nice work, buddy. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it, okay. Received equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. All right, let's get out of here. I uh, gotta go up this way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Yep, gotta lock up the car, even though the front end's all smashed in. How thoughtful of you. Alright, up we go. Uh, let's see what we got here. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we can find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Let's try the branch. A branch will do. Here we go, right there. Receive tree branch. Let's go back up to the rock. Let's see if this works. All right, this better work. What? <laughs> what was that? I, I don't even. Some kind of an air ball. Oh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Get up here. Knock, knock, knock. Ma! They're here! Not a bad place to retire at, huh? 
I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. Your eyelids... Oh, door's open. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Act one. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no. I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children. Sarah and Tommy. That's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. My back breaks one day. I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Let's look around for just a minute. Let's see what else we got over here. Hey, what's yeah, what's over here? Where are you going? Grab the box so we can head upstairs. What if I want to go downstairs? I want to go over here. Where are you going? Gra oh, okay. Yeah, they don't want us to go anywhere. It's got to be over here. Grab the box. Come on. Received equipment. All right. Let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs. Yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyways. Now for small children, they can play pretty well. I'm really enjoying the story of this game so far. kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he'll still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long he'll have, but I wouldn't hurry. Ready to set up? Yes. It'll just be a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedure, just keeping you on your toes. Fancy equipment right there. How's he doing? Not so well if I were to say. He's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezer just keeps getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shh. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Uh, Dr. Rosaline will look around. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Alright, everybody, I think... I'm going to leave this episode here. So far, I'm enjoying this game. Hopefully, you enjoy watching it. If you enjoy watching this, please leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.